How's it going everybody? My name is Will from Ghost Hack and today I'm back with another FL Studio Basics tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to bus and create buses in FL Studio's mixer. <laughs> Now there are two different kinds of buses you can create for a mixer. The first kind is basically just a group where you take multiple instruments that are in multiple different channels here and you assign them to one single mixer track where they're all routed through that. I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm also gonna show you how to bus an effect, meaning that you have an effect such as a reverb or a delay on one channel and you can send that effect to multiple different channels so you don't have to have a bunch of different reverb plugins or a bunch of different delay plugins, you can just use the same one and route it to a bunch of separate instruments. So here we are in FL Studio. I have both the channel rack and the mixer pulled up in front of me. And the first thing you're going to need in order to be able to do this is a couple of different instruments. I have 3X oscillator here with a couple of different sounds. And these sounds are routed into mixer channels one and two. And what I want to do is I want to add reverb to both of them. I'm going to make a reverb bus. So the first thing you're going to do is take any blank track, I'll just say 10 to make it easy, and I'm going to add a reverb onto that track. Now nothing is routed into this track, this is blank. So I'll take the reverb and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dry all the way down and I'm going to turn the wet all the way up. The most important thing here is that you just take the dry all the way down. You, you can mess with the wet however you want, but all you want is that there's no dry signal at all. The only signal coming through is the wet one. So now that you have that, you can do a couple of things. You can take sound one and you can click that channel. And then when you go down here, right under uh, track 10, which is our bus track, you can right click and you can hit route to this track. Be careful not to hit route to this track only. That will actually bust the entire sound through that track. What you wanna do is route to this track and now you have a signal from slot one going to 10 and going out the master. So you have just the dry sound going out the master. And then when you send this signal through slot 10, you are sending it through the reverb where there is no dry signal. You only get the wet signal. So now this results in your dry sound going through the master and a wet sound coming out of 10 going through the master. So now you have some nice reverb. And if you want to control the level of that, all you have to do is just turn this little dial right here, like I can turn it down. Now it's much more subtle in the background. And for the video, I'm going to label this verb. And so I have my sign pluck right here going out the master dry, going into the reverb bus where the dry is taken all the way down and then out of the reverb bus back into the master as you can see. And I can do exactly the same thing for the second channel here which is the hat. I can say this noise hat that I made in 3X Oscillator can get routed to this verb. Again, not route to this track only, route to this verb. And now I am sending a signal to the reverb. And now the reverb, obviously, there's no dry on it. It's all wet, like I said. And it's going to now just reverb that hat back into the master. and just control the level with that knob. So now you have both of these sounds running through one reverb and you can control the level of that reverb individually using this knob down here. Now let's say you didn't want to create an effects bus for something like a reverb or a delay. Let's say you wanted to just route all of these tracks into one channel. Well, that's extremely easy as well. If I wanted to just route them both into 10, that's as easy as going on each channel, right clicking and hitting route to this track only. And then you can see it unroutes it from the master here. And now it's just routed into 10. And then I can do the same with track two route to this track only. And now both of these tracks are running through 10. And from there, I can add any effects I like if I wanted to, I don't know, maybe EQ it. 
or create any other effects I wanted to this group. And you can do this with an infinite amount of channels. If you just highlight any amount of channels that you want, all of these channels, you can just right click and hit route to this track only. And now every single one of them will be routed into that track that you selected. So there you go. That is how you bus and create buses inside of FL Studios Mixer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you can drop a like. And also if you're new here, whether you're a straight up beginner or you've been producing for many years, we make a lot of music production content and it is made for people of all skill levels. So subscribe if that sounds cool to you. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy producing.